What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike H. Back again with another video. I know it's been a while, but your boy had to get some things together. I had to get my grades right in school. I had to understand the stock market. I had to, you know what? Let's get into the video. Like I said before, your boy had to get some things together, man. So I don't know which one you can see on the screen right now. So let's find out. Looks like no, let me just minimize this. I'm using a new program, I'm using a new software. As you can see, I'm trying to download, but well not download, transfer some files real quick. But well not download, transfer some files real quick. At the same time, oh, I don't know if you guys even seen this display, man. I don't know if you guys even know. Like I said, I picked up a few gadget gadgets, man, and uh, your boy had to cop. The razor, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't seen the desk, you ain't seen the setup. Let me show you, let me sh let me give you a, a view of the setup. Like I said, man, your boy had to get some things together, man. You know what I'm saying? So, razor laptop, as you can see, this mug cost me a little pretty penny. Uh, hooked up to the Samsung, I think that's a 32 inch actual TV. I can use it as a monitor with the dual screen going on, with the dual screen setup, man. Right now, I forgot what name I have for the keyboard, but <clears throat> uh, per key backlit or per key RGB, not backlit, per key RGB. But as you can see, I got the one, I got these right here, the line that's trailing. But as soon as you hit like D A K I N G, you can see your boy doing some things, man. But that's that's another video on my gadgets, gadgets, man. And uh, you can see I had to cop the. CNY 13, you know what I'm saying? Chinese New Year 13. My picture from my boy Kyle, I ordered a long time ago. I got these lights, but you know what? I'm gonna look, if y'all want any of the things y'all see in the video, man, just let me know. I'm gonna link all this stuff down below. I'm not just gonna fill my description though with a whole bunch of nonsense that y'all not interested in. So, my bad about that. Let me get back to what I was doing. Okay, so y'all viewing the desktop. Blue line had me confused. All right, so we viewing the desktop. So as you can see on my desktop, we got the big brands and dividends. And and we had a couple dips in the market since we last talked. But I received my first dividend payments, as you can see. Uh, ain't too much, but I just started this, what, January? Maybe even, what, what month are we in? We in May? So I started this maybe three months ago. So I think I got in the first cycle. Uh, in most of these in the first quarter in most of these dividend earnings so you see i get a 23 cent we up 11 dollars in the market so much so far and let's check out the brands or uh, the companies i'm participating in right now so you can see i got microsoft amazon apple intel uh what's that mcdonald's nike pepsi at&t chevron Uber, Walmart, Facebook, Disney, Johnson & Johnson, uh, FedEx, UPS, NVIDIA, Cisco, and Twitter. So, my pie right now, some of them are overweight. I got a couple of them that are overweight like Microsoft. I want them to be overweight because I want to go ahead. If I'm under the right pressure from my understanding, I want to go ahead and uh, get that one quick. Like things like, uh, I think I checked the price of uh, was it Pepsi not too long ago. I think Pepsi is like $20. It wasn't Pepsi. <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, I was looking at Stumps recently. Was it AT&T? I think AT&T. Yeah, AT&T is almost, it's like $30, but AT&T paid me a dividend. You can see the dividend percentage, 6.98%. Uh, I think AT&T is going to do well in the future. Uh, you can see your average cost uh, share price uh, is $30.10. I think when I participated or when I bought the fractional shares in this market, it was twenty nine seventy nine. So I think that's that's what that uh, that percent change is. So if you do twenty nine seventy nine plus ninety percent, I'm pretty sure you get thirty dollars uh, and ten cents. 
companies I'm participating in right now. So, you see I got Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Intel, uh, was that McDonald's, Nike, Pepsi, AT&T, Chevron, Uber, Walmart, Facebook, Disney, Johnson & Johnson, uh, FedEx, UPS, NVIDIA, Cisco, and Twitter. So, my power right now, some of them are overweight. I got a couple of them that are overweight, like Microsoft. I want them to be overweight because I want to go ahead. If I'm under the right impression from my understanding, I want to go ahead and uh, get that one quick. Like things like, uh, I think I checked the price of, uh, was it Pepsi not too long ago? I think Pepsi is like $20. New. No, it wasn't Pepsi. <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, I was looking at something recently. Was it AT&T? I think AT&T. Yeah, AT&T is almost, it's like $30, but AT&T paid me a dividend. You can see their dividend percentage, 6.98%. Uh, I think AT&T is going to do well in the future. Uh, you can see your average cost uh, share price uh, is $30.10. Now, I think when I participated or when I bought the fractional shares in this market, it was $29.79. So, I think that's that's what that, uh, that percent change is. So, if you do... 29.79 plus 90 percent. I'm pretty sure you get thirty dollars and ten cent. But AT&T, I think they're gonna do good. And like I said, you can see that I earned five cent from AT&T. I don't even own the full share. So I'm using uh, what you call this N1 Finance as a. And I will link this down in the description. I will link my stock. Um, referral links if you want to get into the stock market and you want to just you know, put your foot in the water I will link those down below in the description but uh, I use M1 Finance to basically participate in stocks that are too expensive to buy at one point like all together at one time and I buy fractional shares and I'm going to continue to invest I think I'm going to invest more in M1 Finance than I'm doing my Robinhood right now I'm going to show you that in a second but I'm gonna do that because I want to actually own these shares, and it's a, since I got so many fractural, fractural shares in so many different companies, I want to actual, I want to actually go ahead and purchase some, and I want to purchase them through this this uh, brokerage. So that's what I'm using uh, my N1 Finance to do. But I had to check the time. Uh, but I don't think I own a share of anything yet in my N1 Finance. And so far, I invested. Uh, I think I invested two. Two hundred and three dollars, and I'm up uh, eleven dollars thirty-three. That uh, dang it, I'm up eleven dollars and thirty-six cents. But I invested two hundred and three dollars and eighty-one cents. I got a cash balance of one dollars and ninety-seven cents. But I'm gonna continue to invest in this more. And you, if you want to go to my, let's go to my activities so you can see, AT&T dividend five cent. Uh, AT&T, I think they're gonna do good. And like I said, you can see that I earned five cent from at and I don't even own the full share. So I'm using, um, what you call this, N1 Finance as a, and I will link this down in the description. I will link my stock um, referral links if you wanna get into the stock market and you wanna just you know, put your foot in the water. I will link those down below in the description. But uh, I use N1 Finance to basically participate in stocks that are too expensive to buy at one point like all together at one time and I buy fractional shares and I'm gonna continue to invest. I think I'm gonna invest more in N1 Finance than I do my Robinhood right now. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But I'm gonna do that because I wanna actually own these shares and it's a, since I got so many fractional, fractional shares in so many different companies, I wanna actual I wanna actually go ahead and purchase some and I wanna purchase them through this this uh, brokerage. So that's what I'm using uh, my N1 Finance to do. But I just had to check the time. Uh, but I don't think I own a share of anything yet in my M1 Finance. And so far, I invested, uh, I think I invested two, $203 and I'm up uh, $11.33. Uh, God dang it. I'm up $11.36. But I invested $203.81. I got a cash balance of $1.97. But I'm going to continue to invest in this more. And yeah, if you want to go to my, let's go to my activities so you can see. AT&T dividend five cent. Uh, I think I yeah I deposited. Or uh, how can I put it? I deposited fifty four dollars and seventy two cent. But I applied that to my balance, uh, my my trades. So 
no, here it is, fifty five dollars eighty six cents. This how much went towards my buys. So I got eighteen buys, and this how much the value was for those eighteen buys. So that's how I got the a dollar ninety seven cent left over because of this. The subtraction between these two numbers. Uh, on the seventeenth, I bought nineteen shares, which is fifteen dollars. Nineteen buys, which is fifty dollars eighty eight cents. So basically, I started this in April, and I already got a dividend of five cents. So if I would have bought, let's say I would have bought like eight shares, I would have probably had like close to a dollar. But eight shares would be like what, $160, dollars, something like that. But that's just a rough estimate. I ain't doing no exact calculations or anything. I'm just giving y'all examples. I was trying to make the video fast. So you can see how much the average price is. You can see how many shares I own. And I have got close to only the closest share I got to own. Invest more. I, told, I, I like it more finance. I might turn into a Roth IRA. I do have a retirement fund already. So, uh, Thirty-five hundred dollars in it. So I'm not really pressured to make a Roth IRA. I already got one for a retirement plan to my teacher's retirement. So I'm gonna keep this. And when I get to a certain point, of, let's say a thousand dollars, I might look into doing a Roth IRA. This and transfer all the funds into one. But it depends on what the housing market do. This boy trying to get in the house. So, let's go back to, uh, oh, I think I'm Purdue Gold, but you got to see the boys in, in the Purdue, man, trying to get that best look at me, man. Now y'all need to see all that. That's how much I'm paying for it. Anyway, let's, let's see it. Just so y'all know I wasn't lying, you can see that I am currently enrolled in Purdue Gold. All right, the boy wasn't lying to you. All right, so let's get back to which I came to see, and let me drop this on down one time for you. This is my Weeble account. Now I only bought one actual share through Weeble, and this was the iShares Global Energy. This is the one I actually bought. Actually bought. I thought I could get. Oh, excuse me. I thought I could get it. To expand so let's see I'm not too good with Weevil I pretty much understand all of them you got the general basis of all of them here's my watch list for Weevil no dividends at all through Weevil but I think this company gonna pay me a dividend so which is iShares Global Energy I got this from recommendation from a youtuber I'm not gonna tell you his name because I don't want to take all my uh, visitors or my viewers to go to another channel and if you stay with me this long please like subscribe this is a, a, a shake back video if you can say from my absence and I know you missed me I know you did so if you miss me and you like this video and you stay with me so far please hit that like and subscribe button I'm gonna have it uh, like I said I'm gonna have all this stuff linked in the description so if, even if you then we'll put your toe in the water download the app and don't want to install I mean don't want to deposit anything just yet use my link okay and then send me an email or write me a comment and tell me that you did that and then we can start talking about what, what you can do next but I can't tell you what to buy I can't tell you exactly what to buy but you can look at my stuff and choose to buy it if you want to now back to uh, snapchat this was a good one now this one was uh, I deposited some money in uh, Weevil and they gave me this free stock this stock turned out to be nice even though it don't pay me a dividend snapchat is uh, what I call a trade uh, trade company because they don't pay dividends. They just the, the value of the stock is how much it's worth at the time. So I think the average price uh, is twelve dollars and ninety two cent. I forgot how to expand this stuff. How do I expand this stuff on there? I don't know how to expand this stuff on there. I forgot how to do it. Okay. Uh, what did I buy at? I don't what I bought. But anyway, I don't want to make the video too long. I already got 12 minutes. 
But Weibo, I'm just, I want to use it ex exclusively for Reach. But as you can see, uh, I got more than just Reach in it right now. But I'm going to stack it up with some Reach. So let's get over to the Robin Hood before you leave me. I don't want you to leave me. Oh, there we go. Boom, bang, pow, Robin Hood now. Like I said, let me know if you want to see some of these Gidget's gadgets. All right. So my Robin Hood, $477.27. I have available cash. Well, not available. I have a cash balance of $27.37. Withdrawable, I think I get. Mm, hold on, keep going. So let's go to my history. So I sold fuel cell, which I had for a long time, and I waited till it got to about two dollars and six cent per share, and I sold it. So it gave me twenty dollars and sixty one cent plus my nine share dividends from Vanguard, which I'm going to buy some more Vanguard. Got to buy some more Vanguard. I, ever since like probably like two thousand ten, I've been interested in Vanguard. Ever since I wanted a 401k or investment or something like that, I heard Vanguard was one of the best ones to buy, so I wanted that one. I bought Gladstone, uh, which I turned, I think it might be a good like backdoor, not backdoor, but like a, a good a good share to sit on. I got my S's tied up. A good share to be sit on for the long term, but not to uh, buy a lot of. Uh, PG, I sold that. Uh, PG and me, I saw that American Airlines, I bought one share of that. Uh, you see it in deposits and stuff like that. But now I got a dividend column, so if you bought uh, Robinhood or download Robinhood, you bought some shares or, or stock, if you haven't got the dividends yet, just hold on. You might have either monthly dividends, you might have annual dividends, I mean, quarterly dividends, or they might just pay themselves annually, I think. And once you do, you will have the section pop up. I didn't have it for a long time, so don't get worried, don't get distressed, you will have the section. Uh, for the uh, four hundred seventy-seven dollars and twenty-seven cents. So let's take a look at the stock. So I'm at the market of thirty-three cents, but too long man i just want to show y'all real quick how i've been doing in the stock market i might make another video later i promise my girl twinkle shout out twinkle uh if you watch this video like subscribe if you're not go ahead like subscribe but twinkle shout out to you man for hitting me up and asking me uh about the stock market and i love to see people just dip their toilet water because i was just like y'all at one point i ain't, i was scared i didn't understand anything but i gotta be the one to do it for you to understand it. all i asked was it like but uh I want to make it easier for anyone to invest. And I want to. I haven't even told y'all about. That just reminded me. I haven't even told y'all about the other investments I made. But like I said, that's for another video. If you want to hear about that? I'm waiting to get the confirmation email for that one before I even talk about it. Really, but uh, I made another six hundred and how much? Six hundred. I think it was just six hundred dollars uh, investment in another company. But that one was supposed to be. Like I said, if you follow my if you follow my my Instagram, my Facebook, all that will be in the end of the video. If you follow any of that, you will stay up on what I just bought. But this your boy Mike H man. I miss y'all. I know y'all miss me. So give your boy a like. Uh, if you it helps the YouTube algorithm so much, and it helps my channel because I've been gone for so long. Uh, I'm gonna put this on every platform. Like I said, I'm gonna keep posting videos until you get tired of seeing me. Uh, I said that before, but I'm ready to do this time. But like, subscribe, share this video with anybody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me some DMs. I'm here for y'all. Mike HTV.